So I went to my mother and I asked her, explain to me what my great-grandmother, what my ancestor told you about this area. So she told me, that means you don't go to a place just to go there. You go there with a purpose and do your prayers, your offerings. And once that's done, you leave. You leave it as you found it. This to the little Colorado River, it meets the greater Colorado River. And where they meet, because they're male and female, when they meet, life comes from there. All life. Once the journey is done here, then the spirits, they go back. And when I think of that, anything disturbing that, the restfulness, the quietness, the beauty, listening to the wind, the rivers, it hurts me deeply in my heart. This Escalade development, would dig into the heart of our most sacred place and destroy forever these areas. Okay, right? Well, first of all, we need to listen to the people. Uh, because when we talk about Escalade or any projects, out there. We need to involve the local people. The voice of the local people need to be heard. Rather than allowing big corporations to make those decisions, we need to stop doing that. So yes, we need jobs, but let it be jobs that will benefit the people and the communities and not create problems and, and, and all kinds of fights locally. Snowpack from Colorado, snowpack from Wyoming and Utah, all drains a huge multi hundred thousand square mile area, and it all ends up here in Lake Powell. From here, it goes through the turbines. Glen Canyon Dam is a hydroelectric dam and flows down into the Grand Canyon. I'm Sinjin Eberly, I'm the communications director for the Intermountain West or American Rivers. My parents were traditional 1960s environmental hippies. They took us on lots of river trips as kids. I always enjoyed being outside and I always enjoyed thinking about how these places matter to people. Even as a kid, I always thought about those kinds of things. In 2015, American Rivers named the Colorado River and the Grand Canyon as the nation's most endangered river. Factor number one was the proposal to build what's called the Grand Canyon Escalade. The Escalade development is a proposed high-end resort on the rim of the Grand Canyon on Navajo land with a tramway that travels down to the river in the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Linking those two things together is a gondola that um, could carry up to 10,000 people per day down to that site. And that would be the main attraction that people would come from around the world uh, as a destiny resort, not unlike what's been developed in the western part of the Grand Canyon by the Wallapai tribe and the Grand Canyon Skywalk. And our questions come up with that is, okay, 10,000 people a day, where is that sewage gonna go? They haven't answered those questions. Where's the water going to go? Even before human-caused climate change, this has been an arid region, and water is the limiting factor. 
So when you talk about putting thousands of water consumers in a very tightly clustered space and you don't have a solution for obtaining water other than to pump scarce groundwater supplies that supply the springs in the Grand Canyon, then you've got a serious problem. Then they say, well, we'll drill wells. Here it's a thousand feet into the ground and those aquifers feed all the springs in the canyon. It's already being depleted. Lake Powell has an elevation where the lake is full. Right now, you can see with what's called the bathtub ring behind me, you can see about a 50-foot white stripe. Those are mineral deposits that have been left from the time when the lake was full, maybe in the 70s and 80s and 90s. Now, with the drought and with the use of the Colorado River, the lake level is much, much lower, and you can see the water that's not currently sitting in Lake Powell. The developers have had in Arizona particularly kind of free reign to, 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 to propose something and the water will follow. It's not okay to just go ahead and say, well, we'll throw money at it when we get to it. Uh, we've got to draw the line somewhere. The Grand Canyon is the place to draw the line.